Nexus now. And let's hope there's no um, Mad Protoss anywhere, because that could really ruin one's day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my. We'll do. All right, here goes nothing. That's highly unfortunate. I wanted them to just, you know, uh, right, kaboom and everything. Yeah, like that, but to kill the bloody golem while they they were at it. Oh well, can't have everything, I suppose. Wow, these guys are... No, seriously, that... That is Protoss, I mean that's the same model of armor that Phoenix is using. Oh god damn it. Don't. You'll regret this. Mm. They are kind of stronger, but no! Not yet! I suppose. It'll be fine. Yeah, the corpses aren't even dying yet, so... There we go, uh -huh. an explosion. Interesting. It's not that big of a problem when the corpses who are tanking for me aren't even dead yet. If they died, it, uh, it would be much worse, but this is just fine. I should probably give uh, the dwarf some decks and go with a crossbow instead, but he's a shieldman. So that's kind of terrible, you know, I've got tanks and then I've got a semi-tank with the dwarf and uh, he, he, he can't really take as much damage as the corpses so it's really it. funny because he's a hero and the corpses are just well corpses I think that spell is quite overpowered to be honest but I'm not going to whine about it since I'm using it actively and Understood. to great effect Got hello it. take all the portals There doesn't seem to be anything at all over here. Yeah, hey, hey, mm -hmm. hey, hello. Okay, I totally lied, there are st things over here. There is stuff, even. I gotta loot the bloody place. Okay, that's something. I doubt there's anything else though. Yeah, there's not even a chest over here. Nothing this. Aha! Completely didn't notice that because I was fighting those dudes. And then there's the, the objective. Okay. Suspicious. Anyway. Nothing at all. Okay, good. Ooh, a fisher. Okay, take it. Now let's go. Oh, what were the items that I just got? 
Oh, it's an armor plating. Should be. Okay, well, I don't care about that whatsoever. That's the way. Let's go into the light. To this day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear. None of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible... Oops, I skipped it. Sorry. Well, this is just different. Well, blow me down with a feather. And here I thought this couldn't get any more impressive. Then I'm the guessing we got dumb. lucky? This is the Nexus? Yes. We found Mullendeer's heart. The place is a bloody dump, man. So, as I said already to Har, if we're to find out anything about the blood burn in this city, it'll be here. Do you see that massive pillar in the center? That's where the Shapers drew their energy from. I guess you could call it a power source. They used it to communicate, to store knowledge, to power the mechanisms in their city, and to build some of their most magnificent creations. Yeah, Protoss. So this is also some kind of archive? Well, not in the traditional sense. I doubt you'll find a lot of books here. Huh. And where exactly does that energy they channel in here come from? What is it? Well, that's one of the great Shaper mysteries. There's many theories and few facts. But the most likely one is that it draws from some kind of world essence. The same we mages use to cast magic. If something like that exists, why have I never heard about it before? As I said, it's just one of many theories. I might be completely mistaken. I see. And what did they create? Just creatures? They got well, obviously you just, just a few very select items, such as, I suppose, the runes we found. Only the most skilled of their craftsmen were allowed to work on that altar you see over there. Being Zaklar, a runesmith, was one of the most respected positions in Shaper society. And only those of the priest caste were even considered. I'm guessing that whatever miracle allowed them to create these ghost watchers outside was also manufactured here. But keep in mind that I'm just guessing. Uh, just, just a, a second, please, because this is. Um, um, I just thought of something quite ridiculous here, and I don't want to forget about it. Oh. Did you just say they used this place to communicate? Yes. Apparently, some shapers were able to communicate with each other by thought alone. I've heard about that. But what does this nexus have to do with it? Well, their telepathy wasn't an innate skill. It was something the higher castes learned through somehow joining their minds to that pillar. It was just one more reason why they were so superior. The elite of the shapers, the highest castes, had no need for couriers or transcriptions. They were connected. Uh, Kala, you know, just um, just saying the Protoss again. Except this place is a dumb. That's the only thing that doesn't fit. Hmm. I wouldn't want someone to be able to read my thoughts. Well, I don't think joining oneself to that pillar meant your mind was an open book. The mechanics were probably a bit more complex. Either way, I suggest we take a look around, see what we can find. Yeah, like the one thing in the bloody Neos place. Hammer. Do you feel that? Energy. Seems there's still some left. Yeah. And what's that? Huh. Looks like some kind of anvil? Could that be where the Shapers forged their creations? Very likely so, yes. Hmm. We... Wait. How about a little experiment? That strange room Lacane gave you. Could I, uh, borrow it for a moment? What for? As I said, a little experiment. These shards we found on the ghosts outside. I think I might be able to combine them with our rune. Okay, sure, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Huh. Well, that's interesting. What? The runes. They look alike. No, so, really. So, Lacan gave us a Shaper rune? Might be, yeah. He seemed to think it was a gift from Aeonir. Huh. Interesting. Well, I personally don't believe in Aeonir handing out gifts to his followers, but 
As you can tell by the godstones all over the city, he played a role in the Shaper's faith too. So, technically, it could be both a Shaper rune and a gift from the Allfather. Hmm. And you're still sure you want to do this? I am. It may take a while, so I suggest you take a look around in the meantime. Sure. At least we'll be out of the blast radius that way. <laughs> Very funny. Well, I mean, uh... I don't really think... Sounds like a plan. I don't really think, uh... Mm -hmm. They used it... For anything, those godstones other than uh, commuting to work, because, you know, it's very handy and they had quite a network in there, so... They could basically just, uh... Use it instead of metro and it, it would probably be much faster than anything the humans ever had. Wait, I ex already explored this place. Why is it unexplored again? Sure. God damn it, game. What the hell are you doing? Well, it's fine. I've got a torch on me, so... No darkness is a problem. See? Torch. Totally a torch. Oh, there's nothing here. Game, what the hell you want me to do with mm -hmm. this? You mark a place and then you don't let me do a thing. Got it. God damn it. Oh, this place wasn't open before. What's that? Hmm. It looks like a map of Fiara. A very old one. Can that help us somehow? I think so, yes. You see those markings? Glyphs. They look like someone carved them into the stone. Hmm. Can you make out what they say? I've been trying, but... Yes. Yes, that's it. Over here, quickly! Oh, goddammit. To this it. day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear. None of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible amount of magical energy. According to Iskrim, this is it. The heart of the Nexus. The source of the Shaper's power. The pylon! Anyway, I didn't skip it that Iskrim? time. Ah, there you are. I was right. It worked. Look! I don't see anything. Just take a look. Here, Tar. I... Ah. Oh, great. Wonderful. Oh, what the heck just happened? What did you do? I don't know. The room. It... it must have reacted to you somehow, Tahar. Yes, but why? What did you do to it? I... joined it with the shards we found on the Ghost Watchers. I'm guessing that caused some kind of magical reaction when you, as the rune owner, touched it. So we're bound to the city now? Oh, great. No, of course not. But I think the rune got stronger. Still, I'll have to do more research on this. I can't help but feeling that these runes are an ocean and we've merely touched the surface. So more of oil charges? Let's just hope there isn't a monster on the bottom. Anyway, what now? We still haven't learned anything new about the Bloodburn or the Song. That's right, we haven't. But while I was working on the rune, a thought occurred to me. Remember how I told you that some of the higher caste shapers were able to communicate by thought alone, by telepathy? Frankly, I believe that's exactly what the song is. Telepathy. You mean we're hearing the thoughts of a Shaper? The Shapers are extinct, so no. But it might be someone else using Shaper magic or, or a sort of mental echo. The memories of the dead. Oh, great. I'm not sure what you mean by a mental echo. Well, the Shapers left all kinds of traces, didn't they? And those specters we fought on the surface are a proof that their magic is still prevalent. Also, we know they use telepathy to communicate, so who knows? Maybe this song is just a lost, forgotten thought that somehow made it through the millennia. Hmm. That's almost poetic. Yeah, and it's killing everybody. Be that as it may, how does that get us any closer to finding a cure for the bloodburn? Well, it does because it tells us what has to be done next. 
reactivate the Nexus. Why? Oh, shit. Because it might allow us to do the same thing that the Shapers did. Join our minds to that pillar. We could connect to the collective subconscious of an extinct race, which then again could help us understand the song and its origin. Well, that is intriguing, and I don't care about danger. <laughs> sounds intriguing. How do we reactivate it, though? Good question. But I believe those two pedestals have something to do with it. I'm pretty sure they're what used to be conjuring the energy of this place. And they're empty. So we need to find whatever was in there, don't we? A power source. Yeah. The only question is, how? Hmm. I think I have an idea. Let's get back to that map. I think Iskrim should take a look at it. What the hell, game? Let me move. Come on. Stop teleporting me all over the place. Here we go. What do you make of this, Iskrim? A map of old Fiara. By Nihalf, this is... This is incredible. Yes, but I was talking about those markings. They look as though they were added manually, don't they? I've started translating them already, but I'm stuck. Can you take a shot? Let me see. Saganar... Zvuladun. Hmm. Stones of... Wait. You're right. The stones of the essence and their location. Well, that's really, um... What do you call it? Convenient. Yes, convenient. Stones of the essence? So they are the power sources we're looking for. They must be, yes. But why would someone hide the stones and then mark their location? Who says someone hid them? Maybe they were just brought somewhere else. It's common knowledge that the last years of the Shapers were chaotic, and they might have had a good reason to abandon this Nexus. Then maybe it's not a good idea to bring them back, don't you think? Well, the thing is, without the stones, we're stuck. We need this place up and running to understand the song. Even if my theory about it being telepathy is wrong, without power, we can't access the archive neither. Then we need to find them. Absolutely. And I suggest we start right away. We... Hold your horses. We're not getting these stones anytime soon. Why? Because if that map is anywhere near accurate, one of those stones is located in what's now Aeonir's Blade. No point going in there without an army. The Iron Falcons. Right. Iron Falcons? You don't know? Well, probably not that surprising. Nowadays, there are people who even take them for a myth. The Iron Falcons are an order that is protecting the tomb of Foil Dark. They're fighting the world's end, so to speak. What about the other marking, Iria? Maybe... <laughs> Hold on. The Field Dark? The Ancient Evil? Yeah, them. According to the lore, the Guardians locked them in this tomb. But the seal has gotten weaker as time went by, so for over 800 years, the Iron Falcons have been protecting it. I'm surprised you know so little of your own country's lore, Tahar. Well, my father was never interested in old myths. Well, the Field Dark aren't a myth. Not at all. If it weren't for the Falcons, Fiara would be history by now. That's not to say they're a likable bunch. Word has it that they're fanatically religious, self-righteous pricks. But I guess living in the desert with only skeletons to keep you company does that to you. What about the other marking? That one's even worse. This land where the marking points to doesn't even exist anymore. It's right in the Black Sea. Damn it, you're right. But, huh, that doesn't necessarily mean that this island doesn't exist anymore, does it? Maybe the cartographers of our era simply haven't discovered it yet. We could build a ship, right? Sail there and find out. Yeah, maybe. Uh. But again, for that we need support. Someone who can provide us with influence, money, and at least some troops against whatever we'll face there. Not to mention the fact, Tahar, that your former general has probably already sent his dogs on us. Yeah, probably. <sighs> Ideas? Huh. What about that village mayor, Clara Farlin? Didn't she tell us something about certain friends she has? True. And there was a shapeshifter. Yeah, though I still don't think this is a good idea. How about the Moorhair Elves? You told me they're investigating the Bloodburn too, didn't you? Wow, wait a second. Is this a choice of the race? That's actually very interesting, but I want all of them, to be honest. Is this just going to branch me away to a sub subquest set and then they will join in the last battle or something like that? Huh. We fought them in Leonard. Either way. I doubt they'll be eager to cooperate. They know they made a mistake. Somewhere. 
That scryer, she snapped, and given General Noria's intentions, she wasn't even that wrong to do so. I'm pretty sure they'll listen to what we have to say, especially if they're struggling with the blood burn themselves. Hmm. All right. It might be worth a try. Well then, sounds like we have plenty of options, doesn't it? Where do we start? Huh. You know... The elves I would like to get to as soon as possible, and the orcs, well, I can just leave them for last, but I really want to undermine this bloody kingdom as much as I can, so I think I'll go with the humans hmm. first. I think Clara Farlan is our safest bet. She owes us. True. We can still seek out the moor here afterwards anyway. Or the orcs, if you really think this is a good idea. Both of them. Then back to Farlan's hope, is it? Yeah. Let's take some more time to rest and get prepared. In this, in this godforsaken. Hey, come on! Stop teleporting me. I still want to explore the nexus. Come on! There were chests. Oh man, this really sucks. Real bad. Oh, it's awful. Even I don't know where to begin. Hmm. You know, a black warrior or a death knight, whatever you want to call it, would be a very good idea in this game. To build him with a shield and sword, or whatever one-handed weapon, for maximum damage while increasing da uh, defense by huge margins, you could taunt an army and still do a lot of damage and heal yourself at the same time. It's just ridiculous. The so, this'll be our base, won't it? Oh, God I damn guess it. so. Yes. Nihalf's hammer. How about a tad more enthusiasm? We're in the ancient city of the Shapers. If anything, we should feel honored. Well, let's just hope the city's defenses work better for us than they did for them. I'll take care of that. Above all, we need allies. We'll we sure do. Them. Hey, wait a second. This is my place then. Oh, oh, wonderful. Understood. We'll do. Great. I've got a city now. Thank you. God damn it. This is just like Spellforce 2. Ah, oh, I love that they brought this back. I mean, seriously, this is just amazing. You can't not love it. Now, would you look at that? Hmm. They set up some furniture. I wonder where they got it. I mean, I didn't pay for it, right? Uh, no, I don't think I lost any money. How the hell did they buy it? Huh. Well, I didn't pay for it, so that's fine. So, this is it, isn't it? Our base of operations? So it seems. An ancient Shaper city on a quest to find a cure for the Bloodburn. And we're working for the purity of light. <laughs> Sounds crazy if you say it like that. Just some weeks ago, I thought I'd be in Greyfell now, trying to make a fresh start as an innkeep. Innkeep? You? <laughs> hey, don't laugh. What's wrong with some honest work after years of defiling on the road? Getting up early in the morning, setting the tables, serving mulled wine and stew to tired, weary souls. Just a simple, honest life. Uh, doesn't... Doesn't sound too bad, actually. So, you'd leave it all behind? The adventuring? Ah, uh, you know. People always act as if these decisions are final. <laughs> the only way to find out how much I'd like that kind of life is by taking a chance, isn't it? And if one day I wake up and find myself in need of a change, I can still pack up my things and hit the road again. <laughs> Upsides of elven blood. There's plenty of time. Oh, yeah, that's true. For what it's worth, I enjoy your company. Sure you do. Who else would patch you up after the next monumental battle? 
Anyway, talk later, shall we? I'm sure you've got battles to prepare. You know, um, I don't need you to patch me up because I don't get hit. I, I just uh, let the corpses get destroyed and then, then I patch them up myself with my awesome knitting skills. Oh my, more damage. More, more damage. Huh. Avoid arrow is actually a decent spell though. Well, I... Hey, wait a second. I don't need void arrow. Great, this solves all of my problems. No more hard decisions anymore. Now let's get that bloody chest. It's been waiting for me. Calling to me. Oh, it really has. Interesting. Well, never mind. Let's go. Mm. There were also some uh, some tags over this way, so... Aha, there is a bloody chest. That is the convenient portal of convenience. Yoink. Hmm. Oh my. Titanite slab. I suppose the dwarf will be able to craft something. Although, saying that is racist. <laughs> Let's go to, to the mighty man. Yes. I love the silly hat, though. To this day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear. None of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible amount of magical energy. According to Iskrim, this is it. The heart of the Nexus. The source of the Shaper's power. There, I didn't skip it twice now. Hey! Ah, Tahar. How nice of you to come by. Made yourself comfortable? Comfortable? Believe me, being comfortable is the last thing on my mind right now. Just look at this place. A Shaper City. Don't you feel it too? This sense of divinity? Ah, uh, well, you know, it's... It's our home now, so... You seem to be quite excited to be here. <laughs> Why, of course I am! Tahar, I'm not sure if you understand how much this means to me. The forgotten city of Mullendir, the heritage of the Shapers. Since my childhood days, I've dreamed of this. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, thank you. You and the Harbinger have made this dream come true. Dude. It's our home now. We live here. Well, all we did was save you from the orcs. You were the one who found the entrance. You make it sound as if saving me from those greenskins was an easy feat. Well, it was. It wasn't. Anything else I can help you with? If not, I'd like to take another look at that rune Lacan gave us. It's at least as amazing as this place. Oh, really? Advancing the main quest. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Well, it's the side quests of the people then. Uh, well. I suppose, um, I've got a home now. Great. I'm no longer a homeless, uh, refugee of, of, uh, actually a tram. That's basically it. Oh, it does save. That's what I wanted to test, whether the portal saves. So, it's just like in Spellforce 1 and 2, where you just travel around and the maps save their progress. Which means that, the uh, Forlorn something should also have saved and there will be plenty of arsonists there and they will be without a leader. Hmm, that sounds a little bit dangerous. Aight, well, 
Uh, I think I want to test something before I leave here. And of course I will leave it for the next time because... Let's see. Yoink. Oh! Oh, oh, wait, wait. Look. Whatever necessary. There we go. This is not what I wanted to test, but... Yeah... I want to leave the next progress for... For... They will this guy you. is... Beef! Wow! Can I just take this and... Run away? Excuse me, coming through! Okay, I can. Bye! That's really unfortunate. Hmm, I guess he was guarding it. Alright, well, I think I haven't been to this part of city. Uh, okay, many goodies. Many goodies whatsoever. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. So this is this is the home now. This is Yeah, Protoss. Hmm. Too bad they didn't have any furniture though. I'll have to work work on that. At least they get the portals, yes. you know. Th that's Now would you look at that? I mean warp, warp gates. That's really convenient. Hmm. Okay, I wanted to check this... This spot over here. Aha! There is a godstone, of course. Well, it's worth, it, worth exploring then. There is also this area, which is completely black, so... There's either nothing or something interesting. Uh, this also seems like an interesting area. Well, I still got time on this video because I didn't do that much. So I can just check the whole area. Why not? Got it. Huh. This is the entrance, okay. And I can access the world map because I doubt I can get away from here in any kind of decent time by going through the bloody caves of the goblins and stuff we'll like do. that. Mm, that really doesn't seem like a great idea. Hmm. I hope I will be able to get all of the allies. Since uh, that's basically the point, isn't it? I'll get humans and elves at least, I hope. But the orcs are also important. I mean, the entire world against the great evil of the, the kingdom that has no more royalty in it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, hello. For you. You broke my mind. I'm dead. Ah, uh, yeah, it's it's undead, undead, undead versus undead. Just look at. Me. It's really unfortunate, but those corpses. They seem to be stronger than the creeps. Here. That's really, really, really unfortunate. No, seriously, it is unfortunate. Hey. Yes. What the hell? And I can just recast it infinitely. I didn't do anything there for a while, which is why I lost some health, but I could have just recasted it and they wouldn't even get near me. Whatever's necessary. Oh, man.
Um, unfortunate. Well, what's further down this way then? Oh, nothing. Okay. And over here. Alright, more nothing. Oh, and more undead. Okay. More of them. They will fall. This place ah, range guys. Well, you know. I get corpses, but I get good corpses. Hmm. They even blow up upon death, so even if they killed them, which they won't because they're beefy as hell, they would still die. Poor enemies. It's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, at least I don't need to be beef, because I got all the beef corpses I, I need. Hello, corpse. Are you gonna wake up on me? No? Okay. Wait, what? Another orange item. Axe of the Mountains. Well, that's a warrior thing. Katana. Wow. That's interesting. Hey. Light magic resistance. Hmm. Nice. So, do I have any... Any nice potions I would want to use? I guess not, though. Hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of nice things that I won't ever use. Unfortunately, because I'm an idiot. Hmm. Uh, uh, well, Got it. nothing. Okay, fine. Let's keep on exploring. It's unfortunate that I don't have a blink of some sort because it, yeah, I could just zoom around the map. Okay, well, I explored the whole bloody place then. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Next up, I want to go over here. It's unfortunate because I can't just teleport because this is like the one area that doesn't have the godstone in it that would connect it to this one, and I could just be on and be done with it. Run, you scrub! Run me! It would be funny if I just used the heavy plate armor with friggin' stuff and rain down corpses and then they would jump at me and I would be like, oh ho, your, your blows don't hurt me at all. And I could use an S-Talk with that with no shield because it's just a one-handed weapon, right? Ah, uh, where was that thing? Nodachi. Oh my. Where's the s talk? Did I sell it? Did I sell all my s talks? No. No. Hey, here's a lance. Wow, cavalry lance. Uh, there's an s talk. Yes, it is one handed. Basically, something like a rapier, but uh, more swordy. Anyway. It is the kind of weapon that came before the rapier, and they would still be aho uh -huh about it. Mm -hmm. Very French. Oh, hello! How about you talk to some of my friends here, and while I just Don't let down your guard. yoink. Okay, see ya! Oh my. Mm -hmm. That looks painful. I'm glad I'm not uh, in that. Mm. Got it. Okay, nothing over here. There should be a fire one as well. Somewhere on the map. I guess. I'm guessing. Oh, that 
I, I can go. Can I actually? That's the question. This one is weaker. Um. Um. Tiara's breath. We're in for a fight. Looks like I can. Okay. Uh, doesn't go too far though, so it doesn't really help me at all. There's also no items, are there? We'll do. Yeah, it's just a random, random whatever spot on the map. So let's just leave. Wow, this one is a lot weaker than the other. No. Understood. Blazes, that thing is huge. Ouch. Hey, that didn't hurt. Ouch. That didn't hurt either. I guess I'm just slipping. Ouch. Yeah, that yeah, I mean, even hurt me. This one is much weaker. I could probably kill him. It would take way too long though, so. Uh, maybe when I get stronger. I already looted him. Stuff of ambient currency. That's the the exact same thing I'm using. Oh man, that is very unfortunate. Well, I I I, I did get it for free, so there's nothing unfortunate about that actually. Any more godstones so that I could zoom around the place? Ah, I um I didn't notice it at first, so. That was just me being an idiot. Okay, I want to check that area as well. What do we need? Hello, any more golems? Not over here, that's the edge of the map. I guess the world won't let me pass any further. Will do. Even though I'm the mage here. The wizard. The wizard. Okay, um... Oh, I can go over there. I'll check uh, that area before moving on. Are there seriously no godstones over here? They should mark them on the mini-map because I just can't find them manually. I'm too much of a scrub for that. Oh man, especially with all those... There we go. Especially with all those same colored rocks. Ah, I already, already passed it, of course. All those same colored rocks all over the place. There we go. Some pronunciation for a change. Ugh. Seriously, they must have used Understood. them to commute to work. I mean, why wouldn't you? There's a nice web Got of it. them. Mm -hmm. These side paths are um, confusing, to say the least. I have no idea where, where something leads and where nothing, uh, I mean, uh, where something does go and where something mm -hmm. doesn't go. When something doesn't go anywhere and when something we'll goes do. somewhere. Understood. Oh, hello, dead guy. Yeah. Hey. We'll do. Oh no. Ah. Now we just go that. Oh, oh well, that mm. worked. I don't think there's anything else over here, so let's just move on to the next area. Yeah, there's probably nothing over here. And this place is... Got it. I wanted to check this one as well. Oh, goddammit. Mm. 
The blood and flesh mm. column. Wonderful, wonderful construct. Full of life. Hmm. It would be funny if I went for a melee mage, but I seriously don't have the setup for that. My only tanking power is in... Oh, that was absolutely nothing, great to know. My only tank tanking power is in the corpses, and, uh, well... Aha, so I can't go that away. I can, however, go this away, unfortunately, so I have to check it. If I used some kind of melee weapon, for example the spear, with a shield, in order to get a little bit more tanky, I would probably die in five seconds. And I wouldn't do any damage either. I mean, just look at the difference. Using a lance would be amazing, though. I love lances. Ah, it's unfortunate, but I don't have any strength to speak of. Yeah, I'm, I, I mean, I'm the main hero, so I have to be mage, because no heroes ever use a sword. Mm -hmm. Understood. Aha, thank you. Will do. So there's another one. Oh god damn it, I have to cast it quicker next time. Ah I'm getting eaten. Let's see. Alright, bye. I said bye. Oh, it's a it's a very peaceful place though. I have to admit, there's just n no no dangerous lying around. It's the perfect place to live. Pop. Pop. It's a good thing I've got the torch though because. Uh, I wouldn't probably be able to see anything even during the day. It's a quite a dark place. It doesn't look like this is going anywhere, so this is, however, going somewhere. Okay, good, good, nice. And, and. Maybe it actually is going somewhere, but no, it isn't. Okay, fine. Next area. I didn't really search this area properly, but uh, can't really blame me. I said open portal. Hmm. Thank you. Interesting. Got it. Okay, where's the bloody guy? Not around, I suppose. Understood. All right, nothing we'll over here. Where the hell did he go? Oh, spideys. Okay. Now that's something I'm going to have to fight. Or am I actually? See how it goes. Oh, that's very convenient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing Understood. over here. That is very, very convenient. Pop. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they died. Hmm. 
So these are defensive structures because they have actually actual damage. They attack with light magic as it seems. But I wonder what the, the attack is going to be. Some kind of beam arc. I damn it, it's one of these guys again. No! Don't eat me. Eat the dead meat. Hey, isn't there supposed to be a dead adventurer somewhere so that I would take his stuff? Ah, unfortunate. I guess there wasn't one. Either that or I missed him. Oh, hello. Yep, stone one. Now would you look at Oh, that? come on. Damn it. They I killed need one of our heroes. Wow. That was very unfortunate. Mm, I have to be more careful. Blazes. What do we need? That was unexpected. Yeah, it, it, it most certainly was unexpected. I didn't expect him to just slice me into tiny little pieces like that. Gee, rude. I have to be more careful, seriously. I even expected him to be there because of the chest. Yeah, like that, see? The thing attacks the... Ah, uh, uh, uh. uh, that is very unfortunate. Oh no! Switch, thank you. Okay, good. That worked. As planned. Hmm. Get more, one more life, but uh, I feel an RTS facing come. Oh, God. Damn it, I'm so dead. Mm -hmm. I'm such dead meat. Understood. It's a good thing I can dodge that, and now I can just switch his aggro. Run away. Ow. Damn it. I need Ow. Healing. Okay, I'll use a potion actually. Bye. Wow, he even uses a shield. Got Not it. like it's gonna help him though. Will do. Got it. Okay, so that that part of the ma ah, I actually have to get that as well, so mm -hmm. that my me just passing through, passing by, coming through, see ya. Uh, seriously I have to be more careful though. One more life and I need to get into the RTS phase so that I can pray and get my life back. Ouch. There's so many cats here. I'm not even a cat lover. I don't mind cats though, so uh, whatever. Goodies? No goodies? Okay, fine. Isn't there supposed to be a godstone somewhere over here? There probably is, and I probably totally missed it. Well, I'm not going to look for it. Gotta keep on exploring. Alright, well, I'm going back mm. where I started, pretty much. Oh, 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 no, more cats. Understood. Got it. Well, I'm not going that way, that's for sure. 
Just look we'll at do. how quickly they rip those corpses apart. There's not not even any goodies there. The hell. Well, let's hope they will just let me pass through. They won't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Sometimes you just have to feed the animals. Well, I guess this house comes with pets. That's just great. Unfortunately, they will probably destroy all the furniture. That's why we have to brought, bring it in ours as well. Hmm. That said, I wonder where they got the money for it, because I didn't lose any. Hmm. Maybe they built it. I mean, we do have a dwarf with us. And we have an elf too, so she probably grew all the wood. Mm -hmm. Will do. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, wait a minute. Understood. Uh, that was a, a an unfortunate event happening. Hmm. What? Oh, that is there is also a godstone. So Lutis. Let's see. Oh no. Ah! Well, that hurt. Nothing? Yes. I kind of expected some kind of horrible monstrosity here because there's a battle with stuff in it. Weird. Oh, no free goodies, nice. I don't mind that at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I think that's the whole map. Well, I'm not sure, but uh, when, when can you be entirely sure that you got all the parts? I mean, I cannot go over here, so... The, this area, there was nothing. So I think I pretty much covered everything. So, time to progress on with the story. Uh, it's great that I've got a home though. I mean, normal person would just get a house or a cottage. I had to get an entire bloody city of the, the old Protoss and all inclusive with photon cannons. Where are they? Where's the bloody photon cannons? Uh, somewhere over here, surely. Oh, god damn it, I'm s nah. Ah, yeah, that, that, there they are, the photon cannons. Just look at those. Anyway, I think I've, uh, I've been speaking long enough. Hmm. Including with the base is a world map. Uh, what do you call it? Oh yeah. Calibrate. I'm talking to my friend about the sound levels in videos because he's like, "Oh no, you're too silent in my video because I I messed it up." Well, I keep messing it up as well because it's one more sound level to calibrate together and uh, and reset everything.
every single bloody time. Alright, foot of Borgagor. I guess that's the... That's the cave nonsense with the... Wait, no, that's the... That's the orc place. This is the human place, and where's the elf place? Uh, this is the prologue, this is the seat of all evil, this is the dead... the dead village. And this is the... elf place. It's way too far away. Hmm. Are you serious? This bloody map is huge. Okay, well, let's get to the human place then. But wait, I have to actually stop the recording now, don't I? Because I want to keep that for a separate video. So yeah, for now, see ya.